They say the house divided against itself cannot stand. For most of us who have heard that scripture, or for most people who are familiar with that scripture, it's usually taken externally. But an external or physical house had nothing to do with the deeper meanings of that scripture. I say that because we ain't getting out. We ain't getting out till we crack the code. And in order to crack the code, nothing get on your mind. Maybe y'all heard me say this before, but we ain't getting out till we crack the code. Or another way to say that is, <laughs> you'll keep coming back. <laughs> you, you'll keep, you'll keep, that's too many. You'll keep coming back till, till you heal it, till you heal it all up. And there ain't no need for you to come, come back no more. You heard? And that's a good place to do some healing at for most of us because the sacral chakra is connected to most of the shadow work that we're going to have to do before we even get to the heart space because it deals with the sacral chakra deals with our creative center and where we hold emotional when we hold our, our, our emotional body you know things that occur to us that affect our emotions we hold it in our sacral center which can affect our creativity which can affect our ability to think logically or know when to shift from logic to emotion and vice versa so forth and so on but we're gonna see what the uh book gonna share with us today because i ain't come to be long I just came to, to say something. And I hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all. Radiating, operating, vibrating, emanating, and exuding the highest version of yourself and, and all you that you come into contact with. But most of all, in the contact that you make with yourself because you can't do it without you. You hear me? Sacral chakra. And that's the number two. Second house. Uh, which could be Taurus or or number two dealing with duality or polarity depending on where you at with it or integration you know number two is also a number for a balance I would say some may disagree key facts color orange sound Vom. Element, water, emotions, glands, testicles, and ovaries. Keywords, I want, I want, I want. An unbalanced sacred chakra will have you in operating in the Judas, in the Judas faculty, an unhealed Sacred chakra will have you operating in the Judas faculty, the wrong end of the Judas faculty. If we notice the key word was, I want. Well, who don't want? Something. We all want something, but it's those. But where are those wants coming from? Like I said previously, what's the motive behind the want? What's the intent behind the motive? Behind the one. A, un, a unhealed sacral chakra will expose us to ourselves according to our wants and our desires. A healed sacral chakra will expose us to ourselves concerning how we balance our wants and our desires. Known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers above your navel. I'm gonna repeat that again. Known as the sacral chakra, meaning sacred. The second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. 
to keep this chakra balanced and this energy flowing. Try dancing. You hear me? Moving your hips. Hula hooping. Your and lower abdomen. Sit ups. So forth and so on. Use a color meditation and practice yoga. Express your sexuality and nurture yourself. Self-care, self-love, you know, self-management and stress management. And remember, you do matter. You do matter. You do matter. I had to bring all my lights. I get it. Because I had to bring all my lights up to date. You know? <laughs> if you think about our, 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 and when I say that, I want y'all to, when I say I had to bring all my lights up to date, I want y'all to picture our chakra centers. You know? I had to bring them all up to date. And I spent a lot of life doing it. <laughs> you hear me? I spent a lot of life doing it. Not only in previous lives, in this one right here. And I say that because I've been in many situations where I found myself asking myself, <laughs> why is this happening to me? Regardless of who was involved, what happened, the location it happened at, so forth and so on. But the more I kept living, or should I say, the more I kept living through and working through my healing, growing through and working through my experiences, working through and growing through my messes. Because I had a lot of them, if you, if you figured them, or at least so I thought. And the reason I say that is, is because the projections, <laughs> the expectations, and the more projections, and the more expectations, it has its, it has its ability to get to us if we ain't sharp. The experiences that cause the expectations can get to us. So I get it. But I also realized through my spiritual walk how karma worked. Not only the karma that I had to receive, but the karma that I was going to be responsible and given. In my unhealed state, and in, my inhale, and in my healed state, because it work on both ends. It's always working on both ends, whether we see it or not. But the more I realized how karma was working itself out in my life, through my experiences, through my messes, in order me to work, in order for me <laughs> to go within and work it up out of me. If you don't listen, you're gonna miss it. So no, matter, so no matter where I found myself, asking myself, <laughs> why is this happening to me? <laughs> I also came to find the answers to help me decide why it never happened again. And it's called shadow work. It's called shadow work. It's called living life. It's called it's called facing our experiences. It's called confronting <laughs> confronting the demons within ourselves, confronting our shortcomings, addressing them. You know, so you don't have to pay dues again. See, I don't pay enough dues to make up my mind to know. If I come back here to do this again, <laughs> it's 
it'll be a blessing. It'll be a blessing if I want if I want to cross some of the life streams that I ran across in this lifetime. You don't listen, you're gonna miss it. I don't care what your life look like to you right now. I don't care what you may think life has done to you right now. As you live in this one, remember, life happens to you. you. We don't just happen to be here. Life happens to us. So what I mean by that is, we, we can we can get caught or fall in the traps or stay stuck in the traps that we don't already found ourselves in found ourselves in and be and, and, and steady ask ourselves what's happening or why this happening or you can do something to get up about it so for those who remember, and for those who, who are remembering, we know when it comes to those that don't or haven't started to remember that it's hard to remember when you got a different body but got the same soul. We all had the test and we all needed the test. And unless you feel like you need to come and do it again, like this life ain't been enough for you to figure it out, <laughs> then I don't know what to tell you. You hear me? Because it's only one thing left from this point, if you understand what's been said, and that's to get behind the wheel and drive your car. Get behind the wheel and drive your car, your wheel. Your wheel, as long as you can. Because this life we in right now is the only one we got while we in it, you hear me? And the body that you in to carry you through this life that you in is the only one you got. At this time, anyway. So. Know you do. Stay true to you. Stay true to you. And may your chains have your name being discussed in circles and tables that you will no longer sit at because they have already showed you what's before you. And I appreciate y'all time, attention, energy, and effort. We're going to place a sun in the emoji. We're going to place a sun in the emoji section for uh, this video. Um, appreciate y'all time, energy, and effort. Thanks for the likes, unlikes, shares, comments, questions, donations, purchases, love, offerings, uh, salutations, peace, I woos. So forth and so on, family. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. One.